It's officially my birthday. We're out here in my dorm. Uh, stay at. Right now we're we just got done reading the Bible, read Proverbs, because it's October 18th, my birthday, the best day. I just read Proverbs 18, Psalms 66. And then I'm, I got actually have a quiz on uh, scripture memorization on John 8, 31 to 32. Um, I have to write it down with all the different um, punctuation and different things like that. So I'm memorizing that right now, doing that right now. And then I'm going to be meeting Natalie, my girlfriend, in about 20 minutes to go to chapel. Going to bring you guys through the entire day of my birthday with me. All right, guys, let's go. All right, we're late. Oh, we're on a rush going up the stairs. Where are we going, babe? Chapel. Chapel. We're going to Talbot. Chapel right now. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Here we go. Go, oh, come on. His only son from this demonic affliction. Prior to Jesus' arrival, this father has asked the other nine disciples to do the same thing, but according to verse 40, that's something that they were not able to do, which very important. Very important. <laughs> yeah. Most important. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we just got done with class, or I just got done with class. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to the cafeteria mm -hmm. to eat. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to eat from my PJ. <laughs> but yeah, we went to. Yeah, what did we learn in chapel? Yeah. 11 hours. Yeah, when yeah. God saves you at the buzzer right before. You're about to lose, and then you make the three pointer and you win the game. Jesus saves you at the eleventh hour. When is the time that God has done that for you? Thirteen. And then the thirteen hour is when you lost. You you just completely failed, and your life is going down the drain. It's already happened. And then after the fact, I don't think you explained that. Jesus comes, and then he saves you. All right? That's what we similar in the next. It's like a hockey game. No, okay. All right, that's it. That's it for there for the chapel lesson. And then I just got done with my ministry class. And that was about leadership within the church and the elders and pastors and their role and shepherding and all that great stuff. But now we're going to go eat. So. All right, we're about to eat. What do you got? What do you got, honey? Lemon. Lemon, Coke, soup, chicken. And then I got chicken, chicken pasta. Video. All right, now we're at the library. <clears throat> so I got to study for the next 30 minutes for my John 8, 31 to 32 quiz. We just got back from the cat. And uh, yeah, I had some Mexican food too. It was really good. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're, we made it to China. There's bamboo right there. Just got out of... Uh, we just got out of... Uh, Foundation of Christian Thought class, learning about the different religions of theism and naturalism, and pantheism and polytheism. All the different religions just got done with that and I have 15 minutes before my, my last class of the day. First year seminar. But we got bam, we got bamboo right here. Woo! All right. This is the epicness that's about to go down. I'm doing my birthday workout. I just got done talking to my mom, my grandma. Now I'm about to do my birthday workout. It's gonna be epic. 22 reps on four different movements, heavy weight. We're about to do it, we're about to accomplish it. Check it out, let's go.
Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, so we're by the bench. 205 around my body weight. I'm around 200 pounds right now, maybe 205. I haven't weighed myself in a bit. But this is around my body weight, 205. Goal is 22 reps. So let's see if we get it. Thank you. Happy birthday. We're I'm about to. What? It's your birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. I'm about to deadlift 315 for 22 reps for my 22nd birthday. My 22nd birthday. What's up? reps with 315 on squat, 22 reps, 205 on bench, 22 reps, 315 on deadlift. That one was a battle. That was really hard. And 22 pull-ups in a row, which is pretty good. 
I'm weighing around 200, 205, right? So absolutely crushed it. Um, I admit that I could do a little bit better on the form, go a little bit lower on the squat, on the bench, on the pull-ups. Could go a little bit lower, so I'll be working on that for next birthday. But we absolutely crushed it. Um, a lot of that wasn't even just due to strength. It was a lot of it was due to my mobility, which I need to work on within my hips and my, my shoulders and everything, but we crushed the workout. Let's go. The main thing for the challenge too, guys, was a lot of just mental fortitude. I wanted to display my strength. I really just wanted to test myself and it was something that um, that is something I could perform, something I could do, something I could accomplish on my birthday. And that's a lot more fun to me than doing fun things or even traveling or you know, doing fun events or whatever, um, was just really testing myself, not only physically, but mentally. So really did that with this 22 rep challenge, one rep per year and, uh, really proud of myself. And it was, it was a cool accomplishment and I hope it's inspiring and motivational in the way. And, uh, yeah, it was just really tested me mentally and physically. All right. So. Now we're going to go shoot 22. We're going to look to make 22 free throws in a row. Yeah, just talked to my Aunt Jenny, my father's sister, my Aunt Jenny, and then Nathalie bought me this new basketball. It's a brand new basketball. That's She got me that for my birthday. I'm about to shoot. The goal is to make 22 free throws in a row for my 22nd birthday. So we're about to make that happen. All right, I'm going to bring you guys with me. Let's get it. And you guys can't ever forget that Jesus saves. What are we about to do? Shoot 23 hoopies. And who saves? Uh, uh, Jesus. Nah, oh, Jesus saves. 22 free throws in a row. Let's go. Okay, not first try. Okay. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
That's it. It's my birthday. It's my first time. Ready? Yeah. You ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. Bitch. We did it. What did I do? 26 free throws. 26 in a row on in my 22nd row. birthday. A row. And all of the things that you're not going to see is it took about an hour to do it. <sighs> I probably made 300 free throws in the process. <laughs> How many did I make? 300. Oh yeah? How many times did I get to 20? Too many. Like three times Too I got many. to like 19, 20. <laughs> and then the last time, 26? Woo! That's how we do it, guys. That's how we do it on our 22nd birthday. We made <laughs> 20, over 22 free throws in a row. We made 26. That's how we do it. Yeah. That's how we do it. Look at my hair, it's crazy. Yeah. Woo! Woo Look at where we're at, baby. Where are we at? Olive Garden. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Look how good we look. Ooh. 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 Look, look how old-fashioned old okay. this Olive Garden is. Yeah, this is the one we've been at like 10 times. In Whittier. 20. 20. <laughs> look at these palm trees. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Let's go. In the Olive Garden. And you just messed up my hair. I just messed up. And we just ordered. got done feasting at Olive Garden it was so delicious oh so good so full. you have a good time baby it's the best birthday of my life uh, that food was so good ah so amazing all right guys that's it for my birthday today's October 19th we're finishing up this video finishing up this vlog walking to class right now I'm gonna be about two minutes late but we're back to it, back to normal. Just school and work and girlfriend. Really, that's pretty much all I do um, and work out when I can, uh, of course. But a lot of school, serving my clients, running the business, taking classes, doing homework, reading, um, girlfriend, um, all of that God's time, of course. But yeah, birthday was awesome. 26 free throws in a row, the lifting, performance was epic uh, olive garden was epic huh. it was a great birthday ultimately very happy and uh very excited for this next year to come and everything i'm going to grow oh, accomplish and achieve and an experience be grateful for this year so let's go guys so don't forget to like comment share subscribe click the notification buttons Right, and check out all the links below. Fill out the coaching application if you're interested and connect with me on all social media platforms. Peace, let's go, God bless.